Am I the asshole for asking my husband to join us in my sister's birthday since he was in the same restaurant? IF26 was invited to my sister's 18th birthday few days ago at a restaurant. My husband didn't come because he said he had a meeting dinner with some clients. This made my family feel let down especially my sister who wanted him there and also her 18th birthday was a big deal to her obviously. To my surprise, when I arrived I noticed that my husband was having his meeting at the same place, his table was right in the corner and he had about four men sitting with him. My parents and the guests saw him as well. I waved for him and he saw me but ignored me. He obviously was as much as surprised as I was. My parents asked why he didn't even come to the table to acknowledge them after the cake arrived. I got up and walked up to his table. I stood there and said excuse me, my husband was silent when I asked, after I introduced myself to the clients, if he'd take few minutes to join me and the family in candle blowing and say happy birthday but he barely let out a phrase and said, I don't think so, I'm busy right now. I insisted saying it'd just take a couple of minutes and that it'd mean so much to my sister. He stared at me then stared awkwardly back at his clients. They said nothing and he got up after my parents were modioning for me to hurry up. He sat with us while my sister blew the candles and cut the cake. My parents insisted he takes a piece and join us in the selfie but he got up and walked back to his table looking pissed. We haven't talked till we met later at home. He was upset and started scolding me in front of my parents saying I embarrassed him and made him look unprofessional and ruined his business meeting. I told him he overreacted since it only took few minutes and it was my sister's birthday and my family wanted him to join since he was literally in the same restaurant. He called me ignorant and accused me of tampering with his work but I responded that ignoring mine and my family's presence was unacceptable. We argued then he started stonewalling me and refusing to talk to me at all. FYI, I didn't have an issue with him missing the event, but after seeing that he was already there then it become a different story. Also it literally took 5-7 minutes. He didn't even eat nor drink. Just sat down and watched. Hashtag YOU and your family deliberately sabotaged his career. I'm a big birthday person and I'm disgusted by your ignorance and selfishness. Do you have any idea how professional business works? What you did was disrespectful to your husband and his clients and may have caused him to lose his job, especially if those clients are major ones. How will you behave when your husband interrupts you during your business meeting that you already informed him of and drags you to another table to watch his brother blow the candles and have a piece of cake? Do you even work at all if you're this clueless? Hashtag you are the asshole. You are the asshole. And you are the asshole. You are the asshole? Dot you have never had a professional job have you? It was so important for him to be there. Why didn't you guys move the dinner celebration to another date? Upon seeing him at the same restaurant, you should have acted like you didn't even know him since this was a business meeting with clients. Am I the asshole for not wanting to get a new tree topper? I'm a black mother of two 12-year-old twins and I remarried my husband in the summer so it's our first Christmas together. It is important that my husband and his son are Caucasian. Anyway I was putting up our Christmas tree and decorations because it's time and it's the last Sunday before the kids get swamped with finals and we like to do it together. I asked my husband and stepson if they'd like to join and they said yes. Now as we're putting stuff up my husband starts making commentary on how everything is black. I have little black nutcracker ornaments and statues and we have a little Christmas village full of black people. I shrugged it off and we kept going until it was time to bring out the angel tree topper. It was a black angel and my husband stopped me and pulled me to the kitchen. He said we couldn't have all these black decorations when we were now a mixed family and that we had to go and get some regular nutcrackers and people for the village as well as a regular tree topper. This is where I might come off cold but I said no. No discussion, just no. I told him that if we ever left this house, him and his kids would get to see regular decorations and tree toppers and Santa and all that stuff outside but my kids wouldn't get the same and the least they deserved was to walk into their house and see decorations that looked like them. Plus it took me a really long time to find all my decorations and I was going to give them to my kids when they moved out. So no. He said I was being selfish and unwelcoming and that it wasn't fair for his son to have to leave the house to feel like he belonged. I told him it wasn't the same and he asked me to explain how but I wasn't in the mood to have such a heavy discussion so I just shook my head and told him to read a book. I don't know, was I too harsh? Should I go get some non-black decorations? Will this really affect my stepson negatively? I don't want him to feel like he doesn't belong but I don't think that's even possible. Am I the asshole? 
Edit for the most asked questions. My stepson is 10. We spent Christmas together but never at my house because I usually spend it with my family. My kids and I did Christmas at my mom's and then I would go be with him that night. I'm hosting Christmas this year because my mom says I'm finally married again and so it's my turn. He didn't have any decorations at his apartment and when I asked he said he just wasn't a big decorations guy. Also yes he did say, regular, that wasn't inferred. That word is straight from his lips to this post. Also when he said, we need to go out and get regular decorations. I don't know if he meant as replacements or as a add-on but I took it to mean, as a replacement, to make his son more comfortable which is why I shut it down immediately. He went out with some friends tonight so I'll see if we can have a conversation about it when he gets back. Thank you for all your comments. Did he really say, regular, when he meant, white, oh my? Oh my person face palming medium light skin tone 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 person face palming medium light skin tone. Not the asshole. Am I the asshole for not allowing my best friend to wear my red bottom heels to her bridal shower? I female, 29, have a childhood best friend of over 16 years who's getting married next month. We've always borrowed each other's clothes and shoes just how best friends do. I also want to say this first, I'm not materialistic at all. I received the shoes from my mom as a gift, and I've only worn them two times. They are my special occasion heels and they mean a lot to me because I know my mom worked really hard to be able to gift me them. Yesterday my best friend came over and she wanted to borrow black heels and I was like yeah. Go through the closet and she pulled the box out tried them on and was like, omgg. These are the ones they'll go perfect with my dress. I then said I'd love to let you borrow anything but those, and she said seriously? It's my bridal shower. I said I know I'm just not comfortable with you wearing them. She took them off and said don't worry about the shoes I'll find my own. She left a few minutes after and texted me saying that wasn't cool and that she would do it for me. I just wrote back and said I know, but I'd also respect your things, it's been a day and I haven't heard from her Amita for not feeling bad? Not the asshole. Tell your friend to buy her own things if she's going to be that sassy about it. No one is entitled to your stuff. Not the asshole. Best friends don't borrow each other's underwear and don't borrow red bottom shoes. Not the asshole. These are the thousand dollar a pair shoes, correct? Nobody should be expecting to borrow those. And honestly, a bridal shower? That's not exactly a meeting with the Pope. Not the asshole they sell that color red paint at Michael's. She can make an almost identical pair for herself. Not the asshole. She asked, you said no. End of discussion. And yes, I totally understand your attachment, and think you were perfectly reasonable in not wanting her to borrow them. I think it was pretty entitled of her to even ask in the first place. Not just a regular pair of shoes. Am I the asshole for turning on the washing machine before I leave for work? My girlfriend and I moved in together a few months ago. Everything is going well, but we seem to be hitting a wall when it comes to division of housework. She has some weekdays off due to her shift work, and I work 9-5. Before I go to work, I load the washing machine before I leave and as she's home during the day she hangs out the washing. The other day she confronted me abruptly when I was about to load the washer with our clothes and leave for work, and told me that I should wait until we are both home before turning it on, rather than putting it in and leaving it all for her to hang out. We argued over this if I'm putting it in, it doesn't take much to hang it out on her day off when she's home. She stopped me putting on the load and has been angry with me since. I just cannot understand why we must wait for us both to have a day off for a washing load to be done, when the washing basket is clearly full. Am I the asshole? You are the asshole. You should never ever decide about your partner's time without checking first. You're not her manager. You are the asshole. Putting the laundry in the machine is like 5% of the work, and you're consistently leaving her to do the remaining 95%. Info. Why don't you ask her to load it, and you hang it out when you get home? If loading it is 50% of the work and hanging it is 50% of the work, you should find this a good compromise. You are the asshole. Putting it in is nothing compared to taking it all out, hanging it up to dry, taking it down, folding it. So, it doesn't take much, is complete bullshit. Let alone, it's forcing her to do it ASAP, because otherwise, it'll start to smell if it's not dealt with. These jobs are nowhere near equitable. Do the laundry or don't, but stop kidding yourself that you're doing an equal share of the laundry.